Since Endless Space 2's release, we have continued working hard on the game to make the experience even more memorable. Our top priority is to keep delivering regular, exciting new content for our players. This is one of the many updates that will deepen the Endless Space 2 experience in the years to come. In this update, space battles will be greatly enhanced with two major additions to your space fleets, fighters and bombers. The bomber's role is simple. Assault the ships of your opponents. Equipped with lethal projectiles, once bombers are in range, they can tear enemy ships to pieces. Unlocked via the technology tree, bomber squadrons are accessible once stage three of the military quadrant is reached, attain stage five, and an even more powerful version becomes available. Where bombers offer destructive power, fighters offer versatility. In an offensive capacity, they can attack while escorting bombers to their target or be sent on raids themselves. In a defensive capacity, they will escort your ship and intercept any bombers that come their way. Just like bombers, two different levels of fighter squadrons are accessible at stage three and four of the military quadrant respectively. Equipping ships with fighters or bombers is easy. Simply place a squadron module in an appropriate available slot via the ship design screen. To take full advantage of your fighter and bomber squadrons, we've created five brand new battle tactics. As well as the squadrons themselves, this update also brings a host of other exciting features. Four new modules to boost various fighter and bomber capabilities. A new quest where you'll face down a pirate menace and a new buccaneering hero, Jennifer Ruck, a privateer turned academy flying ace who's always keen to play with and invent the latest space war toys. Take to the forums and social media to share your thoughts on this and the next updates coming to Endless Space 2.